Good day grade tens. Welcome to this next lesson in preparation for your test week. In this lesson we're going to be looking at solving equations. So let's get started. We start with a very basic equation which you should be able to solve from grade 8 already or grade 9. Where basically you are solving for x and every one of these equations we're going to be solving for x. So the first thing we need to do is make everything that is not an x onto the right hand side. Now grade tens, I'm going to say this again right now. If you can't and you know how to solve equations, stop the video right now, try these questions and then go through them afterwards and see if you get the correct answer. If you didn't and you don't know what I did, then go back to the week where we did equations and solving for x and go through those videos where I explain how to do these questions very slowly. Okay, let's get started. So 2x plus 3, like I said, we need to get everything that is not an x onto the right hand side. So therefore we've got 2x is equal to 7 minus 3, therefore 2x is equal to 4, and then to get rid of this 2, what do we do? It's multiplied on this side, so we're dividing both sides by 2, we cancel it, and therefore x is equal to 2. Nice and easy, right? Let's do the next one. We've got 5x plus 10 is equal to 5x plus 5 bracket x plus 2. So we've got 5x plus 10, and what do we need to do? We need to multiply these brackets, so 5 times x is 5x, plus 5 times 2 is 10. Oh dear, do you see that these are exactly the same? Therefore we can say that x is any number. There's no pure solution. x is any number, because it doesn't matter what number x is, it'll be true for both the right and the left. Nice and easy. Let's do the next one. 6x minus 3 bracket x plus 2 is equal to 3 plus 6x. Okay, so what we have to do, as always, is we need to multiply the bracket first before we can carry on. So we go 6x, and remember when you're multiplying, you're multiplying out, multiplying out the whole of this minus 3 with each of the things in the bracket. So it's minus 3 times x becomes minus 3x. Minus times a plus is minus 3 times 2 is 6 is equal to 3 plus 6x. Now you should be able to see that these 6x's cancel, but if you don't, we'll take it slowly. So 6x minus 3x is 3x, minus 6 is equal to 3 plus 6x. Now let's get all the x's onto the one side and all the numbers onto the other side. So let's get all the x's onto the left. So we've got 3x minus 6x, why? Because it's written plus here, so when we take it across it becomes minus, is equal to 3, and when we take that across it becomes plus 6. So 3x minus 6x is minus 3x, and 3 plus 6 is 9, and what do we do? We divide both sides by minus 3 to get rid of the negative 3 in front of this x. So therefore x is equal to 9 divided by minus 3 is minus 3. Not too difficult, hey? Right, let's do some more. Ah, now we get on to slightly more tricky things. So, what have we got? We've got x plus 2 over 5 minus 3 equals 2 minus 1 minus 3x over 3. Okay, so there are a couple of ways we can do that. What I would suggest we do first is get these fractions onto one side okay and the numbers onto the other side so let's do that let's take this onto that and the number onto the right hand side so what have we got we've got x plus 2 over 5 and this is a minus so when it goes across it becomes plus 1 minus 3x over 3 is equal to 2 and it's minus 3x yeah? so when we take it across it comes plus 3 so we have got x plus 2 over 5 plus 1 minus 3x over 3 is equal to 5. And now we want to get rid of the 5 and the 3. So do you agree that both 5 and 3, the lowest common number that they can go into is 15? So I can times this side by 3 to get rid of the Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm basically saying how can I get rid of this? Let's do a common denominator, okay? So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to go right. My common denominator is 15. So 5 goes into 15 3 times. So we go 3 times x plus 2 plus 3 goes into 15 5 times. So we've got 5 times 1 minus 3x 
okay, is equal to 5. Now, I don't like fractions here, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to times both sides by 15, okay, to get rid of this denominator on the left-hand side, so that cancels. And then we multiply the brackets. So 3 times x is 3x, plus 3 times 2 is 6, plus 5 times 1 is 5, minus 3 times 5 is 15x, is equal to 5 times 15 is going to be 75. Okay, and now we add our like terms. So 3x minus 15x is going to be minus 12x. 6 plus 5 is 11 equals 75. So therefore, minus 12x is going to be 75 minus 11. So minus 12x is going to be 64, okay? So if x is going to be 64 divided by minus 12, and I unfortunately cannot do that in my head right now, just as well because it's 5 and a third. So x is equal to minus 5 and a third, which you can leave like that. And, or you can actually, we could have taken out common factors here, but that's fine. Perfect answer. Right, now let's do the next question. But I think that this question looks like it's going to need a lot of space. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to raise the writing of the purple. So let's do that. Okay, and now let us look at this question here. It says 5 over 4, x minus 1 fifth is equal to 3 over 2, 2x two plus 4 over 3 minus 4. So the first thing we're going to do is have to multiply out these brackets. So I'm going to start by doing it right over here. So we're going to multiply out. So this becomes 5 over 4x minus, and we're multiplying this, it's 5 over 4 times by 1 over 5 equals, now we're multiplying this with this, so it's 3 over 2 times by 2x plus this with this, 3 over 2 times by 4 over 3 minus 4. Okay, now let's make these little multiplications a little bit prettier. So we've got 5 over 4x. Luckily these 5's cancel and you've got minus a quarter equals these 2's cancel and you get 3x plus, this is interesting, 3 cancels with a 3 and the 2 cancels with 4 and leaves you with a 2, so it's 2 minus 4. Oh, this sum might be a little bit easier than we thought, yay! So now, what have we got? We've got 5 over 4x minus a quarter is equal to 3x plus 2 minus 4 is minus 2. So what do we need to do next? The next thing we need to do is get everything that's an x on the one side and everything that's not an x on the other side. So let's take the x's to the left hand side and the numbers to the right hand side. I'm going to do it up here. So we've got 5 over 4x minus 3x is equal to minus 2 plus a quarter. Note how I've changed the signs as we went across the equal sign. So, the easiest way to do this, you'll notice there's a quarter here and a quarter here, is to multiply everything by 4. Because then we'll get rid of this, these two denominators in life would be easy. Okay, so let's do that. If we multiply this by 4, 5 over 4 times 4 is just going to be 5x. Minus 3 times 4 is 12x is equal to minus 2 times 4 is minus 8 plus 1. 5x minus 12x is going to be minus 7x is equal to minus 8 plus 1 is minus 7, therefore x equals 1. Okay, so what started off looking very, very scary actually ended up being a lot easier and one of the tricks was to get rid of the denominator here, this denominator and this, by multiplying the whole of this thing, the whole of it by times 4 to get rid of the denominator because if you multiply one side you have to multiply the other side. Okay, let's see what else is next. Now let's look at changing the subject of the formula. Okay, you need to be able to do this both in maths and if you're doing physical sciences and I think also a couple of other subjects. You need to be able to make different things the subject of the formula. You need to solve for it. So let's practice this. Okay, it says make B the subject in C is equal to BP plus S. So we're looking for B. 
So to get B, we need to get BP isolated. Okay, so we're going to go get C and put it onto the other side. So go C minus S is equal to BP. Now to get B by itself, what do we need to do? We need to divide both sides by P. So if we do that, these cancel and you're left with B is equal to C minus S over P. Nice and easy, hey? We start with the easy questions. Let's move on. Make M the subject of the formula. Make M the subject of the formula. So, okay, this is slightly more complicated. We need to get M by itself. So in order to do this, if we look at this, we've got the whole of this bracket M plus P is multiplied by R and then divided by 2. So let's start off slowly by getting rid of this 2. So to get rid of this 2, we're going to multiply both these sides by 2. So what do we, because that will cancel this and we end up with 2A is equal to bracket M plus P R. Okay, now the whole of this bracket is multiplied by R. So to get rid of the R, what do we need to do? We need to divide this side by R. And if we do that to the one side, what do we have to do? We have to divide, do that to the other side. So we divide that by R. Okay. So now what have we got left? We've got 2A over R is equal to M plus P. Now, we want M by itself. So the last step is very easy. We just have to subtract P from this side. So we end up with 2A over R minus P is equal to M. So the whole point with changing the subject of the formula, grade tens, is basically that you want to take it baby baby steps and just reverse whatever you need to do in order to just isolate and get the thing by itself. Let's try another example. We've got two last examples to get through. We can do it. So it says make R the subject of the formula. So we want R the subject formula, not R squared, R. Okay. So again, what did we say? We said we need to get this thing by itself. So the first thing we're going to do is get rid of the other things that are around it. So you'll notice that it's pi times r squared times h. So we're going to go, we need to get rid of this. So let's get rid of the h. So we're going to divide this side by h. That means we have to divide that side by h as well. So we've got v over h is equal to pi r squared. Now we want to get r squared by itself. In order to do that, we need to divide both sides by pi. Therefore, we've got now v pi over h is equal just r squared. Let me write that again. v over pi h is equal to r squared. Now to get rid of the squared, what do we need to do? We need to square root this. But we do to the one side, we have to do to the other side. And the square root cancels the square, so finally we have that r is equal to the square root of v over pi h. And grade tens, you might think this is very silly, but and it might seem it's a bit easy for you to do, but you need to make sure you can do it perfectly because because you're going to have to do this even in a trick in part of the calculus section. Okay, so you need to be able to do it. And I don't know if any of you recognise, but this is going to actually be a very important physical science equation. So please, please, please make sure you can do this. Okay, now this one says make A the subject of the formula and this is our last one. So let's make sure we can do it properly. But S is equal to UT plus a half AT squared. Now remember what we said, we need to focus on getting isolating just that A. So to do that, we need to get rid of all the things that are separated totally from that whole term, which is the UT. So we can go S minus UT is equal to a half A t squared, right? Now, let's talk about the half and the t squared. We need to get rid of them. So let's talk about the half first. To get rid of a half, we need to times by 2, but what you do to the one side, you always have to do to the other side. So therefore, we've got 2 times s minus ut is equal to a t squared. And now to get a by itself, what do we need to do? We need to divide both sides by t squared. Okay, so finally a is equal to 2s minus ut all over t squared. And there you go. Right, great tens, please make sure you can do all this in preparation for your control test. Practice, 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 and then go do the assessments in the turn able system.